What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you missed the last video, go check out AVR Customs. We launched some more shirts and stickers and whatnot, so go check that out if you haven't yet. So what we're working on today is the Jetta. So ever since I bought this car, the headlights I've noticed are terrible. Stock lights are not good at all. So what we're gonna be doing today is some headlight upgrades. So this is what the stock headlights are. They're actually an aftermarket housing, but the factory style anyway. So what we're gonna be doing is a complete retrofit on these with projectors. So this is everything I bought for the retrofit. These are mini H1 V3 projectors, some shrouds. I bought a whole wiring harness that I'm gonna wire up. You can do it without the harness, but it's better to do it with a harness. That way you know you have full voltage at the projector or at the bulbs and you're not gonna fry any of your stock wiring or fuses or anything. And then we obviously got the bulbs and the ballast. So these are the same projectors and shrouds I did on the truck. I actually really like these and they're very cheap. I'll, I'll link where I got these from down below. And if you missed that video on the truck, I'll link that up in the corner as well if you wanna check that out. Let's get started. What we gotta do first, get the front bumper off, then we can pull the headlights out and get the headlights apart. All right, we got the headlights off. So basically what we gotta do is strip these and get everything off. So we're gonna pull these back covers off. And I don't know if that wiring comes out of the actual housing, but we can see what we can pull, pull the bulbs out, everything. And then these are just clips. So you can see a clip there, some on the bottom, holding the lens onto the housing. So we'll pull those clips off. We'll bake it in the oven, get it warmed up, and then that lens should come right off. All right, we got the lights apart. So these lights actually use like a silicone, not a butyl rubber headlight sealant like most lights do. So it, uh, it doesn't really soften with heat. So I'm not even sure if you'd really need to heat these ones up. You just kind of got to walk around it with a screwdriver and start them, get them broke free. And then they usually, it can pop off pretty easy. So another thing with these lights that you may need to do is you may need the Euro housings. So these are the Euro housings. You can tell that by, it has this recess here for like a driving bulb, little tiny bulb. I'm not even sure exactly what it's for, but apparently the Euro housings are a little bit deeper. So there's enough room to get a projector in there. So I already had these. I bought these, I don't know, a while ago for like, they're like 80 bucks, I think on eBay and Amazon. So very cheap and uh, should fit the projector a little better. So next thing what I'm gonna do is paint this chrome housing black and we gotta strip everything off of the back here cause all this stuff, these, this clip, this whole ring we're not gonna use. So we can get all that apart. Well, I'm just doing a quick test fit on these projectors, make sure they clear the lenses and everything, which they do. But these shrouds I bought are not gonna work. They are, they're too big. As you can tell there, they don't, I can't get them around the projector and they hit the bowl. So I had another set of these Gatling gun, mini Gatling gun, so those will work. We'll just use those shrouds. And I think I'm actually gonna pull this whole entire inner housing out of the, out of the outer housing 
just so it's easier to work on and get it all painted up easier. Next thing we got to tackle is paint. So you can see this factory paint that they put on here is not the greatest. It's already chipping off down there. So I think what I'm gonna do is just sandblast those really quick. That should come right off. And then we'll blast these. Then we're gonna use this tractor enamel. So I'm gonna use the primer and then a satin black paint. I've had really good luck with that paint. So let's get these sandblasted and paint it up. Right, guys these are all painted up so we gotta let that dry so in the meantime we can get this wiring harness installed so I already got it bolted up right here underneath and the it's really simple this plugs into the ballast that's for the high beam then you got a ground same with on this side and then all you got to do is hook up your power here but the last problem we have is hooking up to the headlight so this headlight is all internally wired and just has the big plug on the back. So it's gonna be kind of difficult to run this into the inside of the housing. So what I'm gonna do is just cut these wires going to the headlight for the high, the low, and the ground for the signal. And then I'm gonna cut these wires off of the harness, the aftermarket harness that we have. And I'm just gonna wire them direct. And then if I ever have to put it back to stock, all I'd have to do is just connect these wires back up. So not a big deal. That's the easiest way to do it. Instead of trying to run this wire sealed into the inside of the headlight housing. All right, there it is. So we got the aftermarket relay harness here. And that is the input from the car into the harness. So the wiring is white from the car to blue on the relay harness, yellow from the car to white, and then brown are both grounds. All right guys, still working on wiring. So when you buy these bulbs, they have two separate leads coming in through this grommet here. And the only one we're gonna be using is the actual lead connected to the bulb. So this separate lead here would be if you weren't running a harness you'd plug this into your factory harness plug that into the ballast right there so our harness actually has the plug-in for the ballast and then it also has like you just saw the signal into the harness so we don't need this so this wire right here we're going to take out of this grommet and then we're going to take this connector off of here we're going to heat shrink these two wires together and run it through one of these holes in the grommet and the other one we can just plug up with something so i just want to explain that you don't need both these wires if you're running your own relay harness All right guys, we got the housings together. So now we got to get the projectors mounted into the housing. So basically 
on this headlight it's very very simple so you have this rubber gasket here that goes on the inside and then they give you an adapter plate for an h4 bulb which this originally was h4 so the adapter plate locks it in place in the back of the housing right there and then you just tighten this nut against the plate and the projector is mounted but there is some play in the plate and in the housing so what you got to do is get the projectors mounted put the whole housings in the car and fire up the lights so that way you can adjust the angle of these projectors in the housing and then you can fully tighten that nut Right, guys got the headlights in mounted up so let's fire these up and see how close we are on that pattern so there they are looks like the driver's side is tilted way down so this is why we do this before we seal everything up it's so much easier to adjust so all you really got to do is grab the projector and there's a little bit of play like I said you can see here you can move that around Get it flat, right where you want it. Looks like the passenger side is pretty good. So now we just need to adjust obviously the height and everything, but it's actually pretty close right there. So I'm going to leave that. We're going to pull these lights back out, seal the lens on it, and then we can put them in for good. All right, guys, getting ready to seal this headlight up. So you can see I cleaned out this entire channel where they originally had all the silicone sealant which we don't want to use. We want to use this stuff here. So this is actually made for windshields. It's a butyl tape, which comes in a big roll. So I'm going to roll some out in this whole channel around the whole thing. So you can see it's filled up most of the channel in that housing. So now we're going to throw that in the oven, get that glue nice and warm, and then we'll put the lens on it kind of clamp it together with our hands and then put those clips on the outside and that should seal it up real nice There we go guys, lights are all done, 100% sealed up and ready to go. So I actually mounted the ballast on the back of the light right here and that just gives it a nice nice spot to plug it in. You don't have to take it off or mount it on the car separately. So these will just plug in right there into those, that's for the high beam. And then all you gotta do is plug that into our harness that's on the car and we are done. Here we go, boys. She's all back together. Looking good. So there's the output. That's the low beam. There's the high beam. So I'll have to break this out later on when it gets dark, try it out and see how these things work. So let's get the bumper on, the grill on, get this front end back together.
right, guys, there's the lights. So that's a uh, low beam. Then you got high beam, which brightens up the road so much compared to the stock lights. These things are a million times better than the stock, especially the stock Jetta lights. They're so terrible. So I am very, very glad I went with these projectors. Definitely a lot better. You get the nice crisp cut off. You're not blinding everybody and you still get the really bright and controlled lights actually. You got a controlled output unlike if you were to put a set of HIDs in, say a reflector housing, they're just, they scatter light everywhere. You're blinding everybody and they're honestly not that bright. So very glad we did the projectors. There it is guys, headlights are done. Looking good, but more importantly, working good. If you've ever driven a Mark IV Jetta, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The stock headlights are terrible. So I'm very, very happy with how these things turned out and how they function. So I will have everything I used to build these headlights down in the description, so go check that out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.